Guys, check it out. First Tundra mod in the books. Subtle, but makes a huge difference, I think. Obviously, subjective. Looks really subjective, but just adds a little bit of pop as opposed to just the dark green and the black. Um, you got the Toyota Heritage colors and the TRD inlays. I used Tough Skins products, and I'll show you what I used, and I'll kind of tell you how I installed them. I mean, it's this is super simple stuff. This isn't rocket science. So um, obviously, you know, if you have one of these and if you have the TRD off-road package, you have the TRD grill, which says TRD in here and in the inlay. Just make sure you clean that out with alcohol. I cleaned mine three times. So with three separate clean rags, applied 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol, wiped it all down. Uh, same thing for where you're going to put these. You can, you can do it where you can skip one and put it here. You'll see underneath uh, there's like these little recessed spots. And that's where you stick them. Tough Skins products are cut and trimmed and they fit exact. So once you got it lined up, I and mean, you'll see that the corners don't move. They're, they're, they're on there good. Um, you can dry fit them and see, but there's no like adjustment, left, right, whatever. They're just going to go on and stay on. So what I do is I, after I'm done cleaning with the alcohol, I just peel the backing off a little bit, get it on there, press the one end down, and then peel the rest back and just apply it on. Uh, put a little pressure, they'll stick. And stay forever as long as you prep the plastic good and you clean, you know, you clean all the wax or any kind of detailing spray you got on there or just anything. Even if you don't, you haven't waxed or cleaned it, I would still suggest using alcohol just to get any type of silicone or oil-based stuff. Even from when these are new in the molds, uh, the grills are made in a mold, you know, plastic, all that stuff. There's definitely some releasing agents still. You want to make sure you get a good surface. Uh, prep is the key for longevity. So, man, it really... Makes the front end of the truck pop. We got another mod on the Tundra. I'll take you inside the truck. That's inside. It's a little more subtle and hard to see, but I'll point it out to you. And just to show you too, this is the products. Um, tough skins. This is how it comes. It'll come just on a piece of cardboard. And you'll see. That's where it was in. TRD. It's the alcohol I used. Clean it up. And then on the inside of the truck, take you inside to see if we got the scramble hanging out. And it looks great. I love it. So I'll take you inside the truck here. I'll show you what I did there. And that's just the uh, screen protector. It's from OCDplug.com. And I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link in the description for Tough Skin's website. Uh, so you can order those um, inlays for the grill. But you'll see it's, the, uh, it's got the matte screen protector. You'll see there's no bubbles. There's no nothing. Uh, it's a couple fingerprints like greasy fingerprint marks uh, that's actually probably from me went out to dinner last night with the truck and uh probably didn't clean my hands well before touching the screen um so but yeah it, it's nice because you don't get the glare you don't get the uh smudging as you do on the gloss screen now i will tell you before you apply this a lot of people don't realize there's a screen protector on there from the factory it's not really a uh, long-term screen protector it's just like for shipping but it's on there so nice and neat you don't even know so just pop it off a little bit with your nail in the corner and just take it off uh, with the OCD plug uh, screen protector it comes it'll come in a little box it's it's rolled up the way you'll apply it is it'll come with a little bit of a little spray bottle about this big and you're gonna put one drop of Dawn dish detergent in there and the rest water shake it up um, if you already have the factory screen protector on there, you don't got to worry about cleaning the screen, which mine, which is what mine is. My truck's brand new. I did it the day after I bought the truck. So um, I literally peeled that off. The screen was still mint, nice and clean. Uh, there was no fingers had touched the screen, so it was good. I take that uh, soapy water mixture, spray the whole screen really good, and then I peel the backing off of the screen protector. Spray your fingers too, so if you touch the corner of the screen protector where it's sticky, uh, where the back part is, you don't ruin it and get fingerprints on the glue. So spray your fingers. That'll prevent that from happening. And then spray the back as well. Put it on there. You can kind of slide it at that point with the back sprayed wet and the screen sprayed wet. Once you got it where you need it, it comes with a card. I wrap my I wrap the card in a in a rag, and then I kind of you start in the middle and just work your way out. 
squeegee it, squeegee it, squeegee it. As long as there's no bubbles, you're good. If you still, if it looks like it's a little bit wet under there, uh, that'll go away and dry. It's like when you do window tint on your car. It's the same premise. Uh, as long as there's no bubbles, you want to squeegee all the bubbles out. The wetness will go away in about an hour. It's gone, uh, and it looks awesome. So when you fire it up, you'll see. You don't even notice it's there. It just kind of gets rid of the glare a little bit. Let's see, it's loading my settings. Lower that. And um, yeah, it looks good. You'll see it's got that matte finish. When you're driving, uh, if the sun's coming and popping in through the back window or something like that, it, you don't get that reflection off the screen. Um, and it and it's just way less fingerprinty than you would with the gloss screen on there. And that's why I did it. And plus two, if you're ever cleaning your truck, you're wiping it down, God forbid you got something on your rag and it scratches the screen. Um, my wife did that actually on her 4Runner. I was able to get them out, get the scratches out. They were very, very subtle. But, I mean, with a big sc screen like this, beautiful screen like this, uh, you'd want to hang yourself if you scratched it. So it'll pre it'll prevent that from happening as well. So cheap investment. It was like $15 or something like that. Um, so installed that. And then the front, those it. That's it, man. Those are the mods for the Tundra. Nothing crazy. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys and share you guys. Share with you guys, I should say. I can't speak English today. It's too hot. 110 degrees in this garage right now. Um, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Give you another look from the front. I tell you, those the lighting on this truck is unbelievably beautiful. And it just doesn't doesn't get any better. It's the best looking truck on the road, in my opinion. These new Tundras are absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Now in the front there, it gives it a little pop. Next uh, next things we're going to do is we're going to start blacking it out. We're going to black out the emblem, black out the grill, uh, not the grill, the uh, black out the grill emblem in there, black out the Tundra badges, and then the 4x4 badge, the uh, limited badge, we'll get that black out, blacked out. Then we'll work on other stuff like the door handles and the window molding trim. But a little bit at a time, this way you can kind of enjoy the progression of it. I don't like to do everything all at once as soon as you get it. And then uh, I like the slow build up and the slow change. And you can kind of appreciate the slow changes that you're, uh, you've made to your vehicle over time. Makes it more enjoyable, in my opinion, than just getting the truck and the first week you lift it, the tires, do everything you want, and then there's nothing left to do to, do to it after that. I enjoy, you know, modding it once in a while, so the slow progression is nice. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning into this, into this one. I know it's short. Just wanted to kind of update you guys on the Tundra a little bit, show you the first couple mods, and then we'll keep you up to date as it progresses. And uh, the more mods we do and more videos we put out. So smash the thumbs up button on your way out. Subscribe channel if you haven't already, if you want more... Uh, more tons of content, plenty coming your way, and we'll see you guys out on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.